New now at 10, the air conditioning is blowing again for people at a Glendale apartment complex. Emergency crews called in to help on this hottest day of the week. ABC 15's Katie Connor is getting to the bottom of what happened. Katie, it is hard to bear just walking to your car in this heat. How long did they go without AC in their home? Well, it depends who you ask. Some tenants told me all day. Others claimed their air conditioning rarely works, but it got dangerous enough today for the fire department to take action and check on the young and elderly. While most people hid indoors, families at Glen Park Apartments ran outside. We have fans going doors open. It's not helping. No air conditioning and no mercy from Mother Nature. Mine feels like it's 100. It's like 100 degrees in the apartment. Margarita Garcia says hours went by and she heard no word from management. We had to call the fire department out today. Garcia was worried about her dad. The heat was too much for him to handle. The fire department was like advising us that he needs to go to the emergency room because it's so hot in here. Management tells ABC 15 the AC was only out for two hours, but tenants say no way. I went to the office on Friday and waited for the maintenance man to come and fix my air conditioner and he hasn't been up there yet. This is one of the several days where, um, again, we're without air conditioning here. Garcia wants the problem fixed for good. She doesn't think her dad can keep living in this heat for long. If it's not fixed, um, we're going to have to take him to the emergency room. We have to. And I checked with management and residents at the Glen Park Apartments, and tonight the air conditioning is back on. Meanwhile, I just want to remind viewers tonight, as you, if you are a tenant, you are entitled to certain rights. You can't withhold your rent payment, but you can deduct portions for substitute services like a hotel. And anytime you're disputing anything with your landlord, make sure to get it in writing. No, hey, that way you have some proof later down the road. Always good to be mm -hmm. armed with information. Thanks very much, Katie.